but we honor you that and we acknowledge the call of God upon your life to advance the gospel of the kingdom. And we here at Spirit of Life Ministries and representatives of the Global Cost Network, we are going to issue you some apostolic charges. And I'm going to ask you some questions and give you some charges, and then your answer will be yes. <laughs> you receive these charges. These are the Apostle Paul gave his examples when he when he remember the Apostle Paul was the spiritual father of Timothy. And uh, he gave charges to him. There's actually five apostolic charges in the New Testament. And these are significant to us as leaders within the kingdom of God. And very significant. And I believe the Spirit of God is here today. And we are going to lay hands on you in just a minute after we release these charges over you. And I believe that the Spirit of God will come upon you and add a measure of anointing to you that you've not had before. But it will add to what you already carry, okay? And you can take that back into your community. Something different is going to happen. And you'll start hearing different things, seeing different things. Different sounds are going to come out of your mouth, different utterances. Yeah, it's the Spirit of God. Um, so church, just stretch your hands this way. Father, we thank you for the anointing of the Spirit of God. Holy Ghost, you are the one that separates us for the work of ministry. Lord, we as men, all we can do is acknowledge the call of God because we don't call men and women to ministry. You do. But we thank you, Lord, for the ability to see and the ability to receive, the ability to cover and protect one another. We thank you, Lord, that the ministry is about relationships, relationships first with you and relationships also amongst men and women, amongst ourselves, God. And Lord, we receive this ministry and the responsibility that goes with it. We thank you, Lord God, that you change us as well as we renew our minds with your word. And Father, we are faithful to study the word, to show ourselves approved workmen that be not be ashamed, broadly dividing the word of truth. We thank you, Lord God, for the hearts of these that have come today to join up, to hook up together, because we understand there's power and unity to advance your kingdom, God, which is our great cause, the gospel of the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world. So Father, just as Paul did, I thank you for these charges. So I wanna ask you guys this question. Will you guard the ministry and will you keep that which is committed in thy trust? That's 1 Timothy 6, 20 and 21. The second charge is will you war a good warfare. That's 1 Timothy 1, verses 18 through 19. The third charge that the Apostle Paul made Timothy was, will you follow after righteousness, godliness, and faith? That's 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 14. Number four, will you treat all the same without favoritism or taking sides? That's 1 Timothy 5, 21. The fifth charge in 2 Timothy 4, verse 1 and 2 was this. Will you preach the word of God? Will you be instant in season and out of season? Reproving, rebuking, and teaching all. So charge I in the presence of God and in the elders of the church here in the ministry. We charge you to keep these five in your life and in your ministry. To be faithful to God with everything that's in you. Guard your calling. Guard the anointing. Guard that which has been entrusted to you and those sons and daughters that God's going to draw into your life. So today, we stretch our hands before you. Father, we thank you for these people. They've set their heart, God, to follow you. Lord, they understand that they must die to themselves that you might increase. Lord, I thank you for their lives and their families. We plead the blood of Jesus over them and their families, God. And we thank you, Lord, for the spirit of wisdom and understanding that you come upon them. For the spirit of counsel, God. For the spirit of power and might. For the spirit of the Lord to come upon them, God, in a mighty way. Lord, we thank you, God, that these charges have been heard in heaven and on earth. And Lord, they've made a vow to you today and to those witnesses round about us today. 
Lord, I thank you for the angels of God that are camped around about them. I thank you, Lord, for the ministry of the Holy Spirit that shall lead them and guide them in truth. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of reality. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing that breaks yokes and removes burdens. Thank you for the call of God upon them and the authority to cast out devils, to heal the sick, to open blind eyes, God, to preach the gospel to the poor. Thank you, Lord God, even for a ministry of deliverance to set the captives free. And Father, we thank you for the favor of God to be upon them. We thank you, Lord God, for that. And you stir them in their spirits, God, and you awaken them to this fresh call and this fresh anointing upon their life. And Lord, we as a church and we as a ministry, we do receive and we do cover now. Thank you, Holy Ghost, that you are here today. And Lord, we do lay hands on them now and receive them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Come on, just stretch your hands toward him and just pray for him. Come on, just pray for him. Pray for him. Thank you, God, for these ministers. Thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in their lives. Thank you, Lord, they are being launched right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we do cover them and we protect them. We thank you, God, for creating the divine a network of relationships. Thank you, Lord God, that you will send them to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Lord, they will be ministers of fire, the flames of fire, of the uh, 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 Pentecost to be upon their life. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let's sing that song, Welcome Holy Spirit. Can you do that? Let's just savor this moment. Just savor this moment. Just savor this moment. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let's just savor this moment. God is doing something amongst us today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.